Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the Sagittarius reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month. Trust in divine timing. Okay, so we're going to start with the Inner Child Tarot deck today and then for the extended reading... I'm feeling Troubadour, but we will see where that bit goes. Okay, Sagittarius, what you need to know. Do, 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 do. Okay. Got the six of crystals to begin with and it really does feel like you've been climbing that mountain for some time climbing the mountain to reach your goals to reach where you really want to be in life i feel almost though that you've been focusing so much on where you're going to be that you're missing the part of the journey in between where you're at and reaching those goals i feel a bit like you Yes, stay focused, but don't miss what's happening right now because I feel like you're focusing that far ahead that you are missing the shifts and the steps towards your goals right now because you are shifting. You are moving towards your goals one step at a time, but I, f I just feel like you're missing the steps because you're focusing so far ahead which is meaning you're feeling you're not achieving anything. And it's giving you this energy of, really, I'm not getting any further, nothing's moving into place, nothing's changing. It is. Don't miss the now while you're getting to there. Because you are getting there. You're so, so very close. Okay, so don't give up. Because you are moving. You are getting there. We then have the little red cap, okay? And I feel it's important to, she's focusing on here, the butterfly, which is that transformational energy, the changes which you're waiting for. And I feel it's important to trust so much that you're getting there, that you don't need to focus on it so much. You don't take away the enjoyment of the now because those doors are opening for you. I feel a bit like you're focusing too far ahead because you're trying not to think about stuff from the past which you're maybe still needing a little bit of healing or processing from, okay? And it's like you're so dedicated and focused to where you're heading because you feel if you take your eye off the ball, it's not going to happen. Because in the past, I would say that there's been a lot of doubts because you have believed so much sometimes and then things haven't happened. But I do feel other people have been involved in the past. You've got the, the fox here. So I do feel it's a bit like you're distracting yourself from that person or the people which pulled you down and made things not happen now is totally different than then so it's important to sort of clear this energy of that person which is sort of in your background but you're not looking at even if it's just to let go of some of the things you maybe thought you should have said write them a letter and burn it i'm not saying go and cause an argument but there is a need to get some of this stuff out for you okay and It's important to do it. It's important to clear the way. That is what is that last hurdle which you need to clear to reach your hopes and your dreams and your goals. Okay, so when you're thinking it's not happening, it's not falling into place, what else do I need to do? You just need to have a look and clear that last bit of the past. 
that last bit of the past that's peeking over your shoulder because you're not taking them with you and they're not going to ruin this now okay then we've got the guardian of hearts which is very much that energy of speaking up telling someone how you feel and in the past you've maybe been scared of telling you them how you feel not the same person maybe you've been scared of telling someone how you feel because you knew already that the love was not re-separated re it wasn't the same it wasn't mutual but now it is and it's time to speak from your heart with whoever is in that in your focus at the end i feel you already know and there has been this element of i feel i should speak up i feel i should say it and then you're like oh god no i can't speak up i really do feel it's time to share your feelings be totally open and honest and move things forwards because i feel like they are waiting for you to I feel they're as worried as you. They're not sure if you feel the same either. So it's time to speak from your heart. Then we've got the Peter Pan card, which is very much that forceful moving forwards and things moving forwards a, a quicker pace than you're prepared for, a quicker pace than you are ready for, okay? But it's going to happen because you're both on the same page and you're both moving in the same direction. You're both wanting the same thing. What is going to kick off this next bit is you clearing those doubts, those worries, those hurts from your past and you speak from your heart in the now. And then you will move forwards together. It really is that just the initial starting to speak up is going to move things forwards for you. Okay? Okay, I think I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to see more information and clarification about this relationship energy of speaking up and where it is leading and what else you need to know. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Namaste. Bye.